Why did the first pacemaker in history have wheels, wires, and no electricity of its own yet still saved a dying child? On November 23, 1936, a little boy in Sweden went into sudden cardiac arrest. His heart stopped. And the world had no implanted pacemakers yet. No battery-powered devices. No surgical implants. Nothing. But a surgeon named Dr. Orke Senning refused to accept that the child's life was over. He grabbed a prototype machine built from a hand-cranked motor, two large electrodes, and a heat-driven generator. It was basically a cart on wheels a Frankenstein mix of mechanics and medicine. The machine delivered electrical pulses directly into the boy's heart, manually synchronized by the doctor. This wasn't a pacemaker you implanted. This was a pacemaker you stood beside and operated like a life support engine. And after minutes that felt like hours, the child's heart rhythm returned. That clunky, awkward machine became the ancestor of the 40 million pacemakers implanted today small enough to fit on a fingertip, smart enough to adjust to your heartbeat. And it all traces back to November 23rd, when a doctor used a rolling, hand-cranked device to restart a human heart. From a mechanical cart. To life-saving microchips. Science remembers.